Hi guys, it's Ian Wilson here again from Spatial Modeling Solutions. Today's tutorial will be to show you the Time Manager. This tutorial is based on a tutorial put together by Anita Grazer and it is to show you the Time Manager using migratory um, information from a CSV file which has been downloaded from the MoveBank database. So let's kick on with that. The first thing we'll do is just add a base layer from our Open Layers plugin. And we're going to use Google Maps, Google Physical Layer. Click OK. If yours takes a little while to load and doesn't seem to load, just pan around. And uh, when it refreshes, it, uh, it'll probably load up. The uh, the birds that we're dealing with today are, are migrating from Canada and the North America and the States down to Brazil. So let's just zoom in there. Okay, so that's pretty much our, going to be our study area. Our next step then is to add that CSV, which I have downloaded from the, the MoveBank um, website. Right, so just to show you what that um, CSV looks like, uh, this is the CSV opened in Excel and the the fields we're going to be interested in are the timestamp field and then uh, we've got the location, latitude and longitude and then also uh, we're going to be using the individual local identifiers which will identify each different bird okay so if we look at this timestamp field You'll see that it just looks like a time at the moment, but if you select it, it will will show you a date and a time, and whether it's morning or morning or afternoon. So that's how it should reflect. If you if you click on your on your record under time step stamp, and it doesn't reflect like this, then uh, you know you need to try and source some data that does have this format, or um, make a plan. Try and try and figure out how you're going to add this format to your data either from other fields um, but in this example everything's fine so we're just going to move forward using using this format format and then this this field right so we can minimize that and we're going to add it as a CSV so let's select it from the menu let's go find it browse to it on my hard drive it under tutorials, order to time manager data, spatial tables. Here it is there. Open. Okay, so everything looks like it's going to add properly. It's got its individual fields here, and you'll see that timestamp is now shown uh, as it should be in that format. Um, you'll see the, the OK button is grayed out here because it's waiting for it's prompting us for an X and Y field. So lat long is our X field and our Y field is latitude. Okay. And the projection or coordinate reference system for this example is WGS84. We say OK. And there it's added all the events. Alright, so the next step is to to use a time manager to animate this database. So we can access our, our time manager plugin from the plugins menu. Open your repository and then you must have a connection to the internet to access this online repository. Okay, so once that shows up, we just need to search for time and uh, oh there we go, time manager and then install the plugin. Okay, that shouldn't take too long to download. Um, maybe a couple of minutes, depending on your connection and your computer. So there we go, it's installed. We can just close this window. And the first thing you'll notice is that a, a new time manager uh, window has been docked to the bottom of your view. And that is what we're going to use to animate our our CSV file. So if we select the settings, we'll we can configure the time manager, and that's the first thing we need to do is just configure this time manager. So select settings, 
and we're going to add a layer. We're going to select the correct layer from our table of contents, which is this CSV which we've added. The start time field that we need to select is timestamp, and the end time is going to be the same. And then we're going to use a, a linear interpolation, and the ID attribute for this linear interpolation is the individual local identifier. We can click OK. Click OK again. Right, so there it's started. Uh, well, it's added the first few events. And we can change our time frame size in this instance to days. This will depend on your database uh, and how frequently uh, each event has been captured. Now if we click play, it will start to animate the, um, the movement of these birds based on the geographic location and timestamp for each event. So it's just playing them in order um, according to time. Starting on the 15th of July 2014 and finishing on the 15th of December 2015. And you can monitor or see exactly uh, where your current uh, birds are based on the time. You can pause it and keep playing it. You can also change the color of these, these icons if you prefer them to be red or a different color. Okay, so one of the other cool things you can do with this with this uh, plugin is export it to a video. Now if you have a Linux system um, you can just export it directly to video but if you've got a Windows based system what you will have to do is export uh, it to a, each, well it will take a little screenshot of each event and then you'll need to compile your own video. So for that you'll need your own um, video uh, software. So for instance if you want to export video select your output folder okay let's select that one and the option here is frames only that's for Windows, That's as, as I said it will export only frames but if you want to animate it using Linux or or Microsoft, ach not Microsoft, or or Apple software, you can do an animation or an actual video. So, like I said, you, if you, if you do want to create a video for some kind of presentation, export it as frames and then use those frames to create your video using your video software. So that's not true. that's not going to be covered in this tutorial, but it's just to give you an indication of how you can do it. Okay, I'm just going to cancel that. Okay, and that's pretty much it. It's uh, a decent little um, plugin. It has other applications, but in this instance, I just wanted to show show this first step to you um, to be able to animate your omega-tree patterns. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. We'll chat again soon. Cheers.